Nidhogg, the game where you play as a stick man fighting other stick men with swords. It's basically 2007 YouTube all over again. Speaking of 2007 YouTube, I don't know what's up with these black bars, I looked in the options but there wasn't any way to change the resolution. Luckily with my pro editing skills I'll be able to fix this in no time. Ah, much better. So I'm doing single player and in this game mode you play as this yellow guy and have to beat all of these guys one by one in order to reach the end and win the game. Now you might notice that these four guys at the end are rainbow coloured. That's how you know they're badasses. Alright, we're just gonna drop in here and as you can see I can actually adjust the height of my sword so that I can pop him in the face. Haha, <laughs> you dumb bell, goddammit. So my goal is to get all the way over to my side whilst the other guy tries to get all the way over to his. There are different screens within the stages and whoever reaches their end wins the match. So it's kinda like tug of war but with more emphasis on the war bit. Now what you can see here is that the orange guy has actually managed to disarm me so now my sword is lying on the ground behind him. This is what players in the Nidhogg community would call being screwed. However, all hope is not lost. Watch as I demonstrate a perfectly executed roll in order to get underneath his sword and behind him. Oh that was, uh, I, I think that was the wrong clip. Oh crap, he's on the final screen already. I need to stop there, allow him to show you what happens when you win a match. See that thing? Yeah, that's Nidhogg. You know what else is called Nidhogg? The game! Okay, let's try this again. Oop, he disarmed me. Oop, he disarmed me. Oop, he disarmed me. Oop, he disarmed me. Oop! Okay. Let's try that one more time. Oh, okay, good start, good start. Excuse me. Alright, we're doing better this time. I spoke too soon. I way too soon. Well, that was easy enough. Wait, why didn't he just pick up a sword? He had two! So this was it. The final screen. Only one more player stood between me and the ultimate vi- Oh my god, I'm quick! Finally, it's my turn to be eaten by the Nidhogg! That wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. With orange down, I then went to fight green in a stage called Clouds. Alright, not a promising start. One thing I must say about this game is that I really like the soundtrack, you know, it's quite soothing. It makes you feel really relaxed as you stab people in the stomach. Damn it, disarmed again? Well, gotta go, I mean, I'm sorry man, I'm just following the instructions, that's what it says. You know what, the respawns in this game make no sense. I kill this guy, whoop, he's back, whereas he gets to run an entire marathon before I respawn. Are you kidding me? I ran like 15 centimeters. Just take the damn sword! Oh flipping hell, why, why does that happen every time? Y you know what, just keep the sword, I don't care. Oh, I won the final screen, I'm just trying to beat this guy. <laughs> Idiot, what, you never paid attention in science? Everybody knows you can't stand on clouds for more than 3 seconds. Now I don't know what this guy is trying to achieve here, but I hope he accomplishes it. Never mind. Well that's it for stage 2. Whoa, not a chance. Stage 3, let's go. Okay, that's enough. What the actual hell is going on? No, seriously, explain it to me. What happened between this frame and this frame to now cause my sword to be way over there? It just doesn't make any sense. You want my sword so bad? Take it. Ooh, after performing the trick shot of the century, I proceeded to avoid direct conflict with Green by jumping over him at every opportunity. That was until my ego had been fully reinflated, at which point I attempted to challenge him with classic one-on-one -on -one sword combat, which lasted for a grand total of 19 nanoseconds before I was disarmed and said, forget that, I'm out of here. So the moral of the story is, always run away from your problems. Alright, so that's 3 down, one, two, three, four, five, 13 left to go, what? I've already been playing for 13 minutes. You know what, I'll just fast forward this a little bit. We already know I'm gonna win. That's why this is on YouTube. What, you think I'd upload a video of me playing a game in which I lose every single match? Opening myself up to ridicule in the comments? Come on, I'm not stupid. Well, this guy pretty much just killed himself. What? He did it again. You know, I bet if I just stand still right here, he'll walk into my sword. <laughs> what'd I say? Whoa, what the? I must have fast forwarded way too much. I don't know how he went from fighting in this nice room with a chandelier to fighting in the literal depths of hell. Get out of my way, man. I ain't got time for this. Do you not realize how hot it is in here? Okay, you know what? We're gonna deal with this red guy real quick. Told you. I've been thinking about this game and I've developed a little theory. 
I think so. Anyway, my theory is that the society that these stick figures live in has developed some form of infinite respawn, so that when they die, they just come back two seconds later with the sword in their hands for some reason. And so really, these guys have been alive for thousands of years, and in that time have become so unbelievably bored that they just kill each other for entertainment now. I mean, it's gotten so bad, even the prize is death. <laughs> Shouldn't have brought your sword to a fist fight. <laughs> Shouldn't have brought your fists to a sword fight. Oh, what the fuck? So at this point, I'd made it halfway through the game. Things were going pretty well. And let me tell you, this green guy? Piece of cake. His cousin, uh... Spring Green, on the other hand, wasn't so easy. We were fighting for over seven minutes. This guy sped ran the entire game in six. There was a point where it looked like Spring Green was gonna bring my winning streak to an end. He made sure not to stand on the clouds for too long. I was being very careful until he ran into my sword and then fell through the clouds, which I didn't get. But anyway, just when I'm thinking I might have a shot at winning this thing, this isn't a black screen for dramatic effect by the way, the game crashed. Are you kidding me? I didn't even get to fight the first rainbow guy, come on. I'm not starting again from the beginning because holy crap, that took like 45 minutes. Instead, I decided to enter online matchmaking, then saw that there was zero players online, worldwide, and was like, you know what, maybe not. So that's Nidhogg, pretty disappointing ending, but it was fun while it lasted, I guess. I would recommend that you get this, but uh, 10.99. <laughs> Good one. So yeah, just wait for it to go on sale, that's what I did. Or you can wait for Nidhogg 2 to come out. Judging by the trailer, it looks like it's gonna be a lot like the first game, except completely different. There's now a variety of weapons, the Nidhogg thing looks way uglier, and every stickman has now been replaced by Homer Simpson. Now that's what I call a sequel. <laughs>